Hi, welcome back to NPA teaching. In this video, I am going to solve the quadratic equations. The quadratic equation is a polynomial equation in which the highest power of unknown is 2. The general or standard form of quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 where a, b and c are constants and a is not equal to 0. A complete quadratic equation contain the term with non-zero coefficient of the second and first power of the unknowns. There are several methods for solving quadratic equation namely using quadratic formula, by factoring, graphing and completing squares. In this video, I am going to discuss how to solve quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. In order to use quadratic formula, the quadratic equation that we are solving must be converted into a standard form. Otherwise, all subsequent steps will not work. The goal is to transform the quadratic equation such that quadratic expression is isolated on the one side of the equation while the opposite side only contain the number 0. In this convenient format, the numerical value of A, B and C are easily identified. Upon knowing those values, we can now substitute them into a quadratic formula then solve for the value of variable x. After an equation has been reduced or rearranged to the standard quadratic form that is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0, if we are arranging in this format, we are able to solve the equation by mean of quadratic formula that is value of x is equal to minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. The plus or minus means we need to do a plus and minus so there are normally two solutions are there. When using the quadratic formula you should be aware of three possibilities. These three possibilities are distinguished by a part of the formula which is called discriminant because it can be discriminate between the possible type of answers. The discriminant is the value under the radical sign that is b square minus 4ac. A quadratic equation with a real number as coefficient can be three possibilities that is if the discriminant b square minus 4ac is a positive number then we get a two different real roots or solutions. But if the discriminant b square minus 4 ac is equal to 0, we have one real root or we can say that it is only one solution. However, if the discriminant b square minus 4 ac is negative, then we get a complex solution or we can say that no real roots are exist. Let us consider a numerical example to show how to solve a quadratic equation by using quadratic formula that is x square minus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So here the value of a is equal to the coefficient of x square which is equal to 1 then value of b which is minus 5 that is coefficient of x then we have the value of c is equal to 6 that is the constant. So we have the formula for solving the quadratic equation that is minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. The nice thing about this quadratic formula as compared to other methods is that we are just plugging into a formula. There are no steps to remember and thus there are fewer opportunity for mistake. Now we are going to substitute the value of a, b, c on this equation. This x is equal to minus, minus b which is minus 5 plus or minus b square that is minus 5 square minus 4 into a that is 1 into c which is equal to 6 divided by 2 into a that is 2 into 1. So x is equal to minus minus 5 will become plus 5 plus or minus root b square that is minus 5 square is equal to 25 minus 4 into 1 into 6 divided by 2. So x is equal to 5 plus or minus root 25 minus 4 into 1 into 6 is equal to 24 divided by 2 into a that is 2 into 1 in, is equal to 2. So x is equal to 
5 plus or minus root 25 minus 24 is equal to 1 divided by 2. So x is equal to 5 plus or minus root 1 is equal to 1 divided by 2. So we have x is equal to 5 minus 1 and 5 plus 1. So we have two solutions are here. So x is equal to minus 1, 5 minus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 4 divided by 2 which is 2. And secondly, second solution is x is equal to 5 plus 1 divided by 2 which is equal to 6 by 2 which is 3. So x is the 2 or 3. As our discriminant value that is b square minus 4ac which is the positive number that's why we have a two different real roots or solution that is 2 or 3. You can also verify the answer by substituting the value of x on the above equation and make equal to 0. If it is equal to 0 then we can say that our answer is correct. Similarly we can have an another numerical example of a quadratic equation that is 5x square minus 55x plus 140 is equal to 0. So here the value of a is equal to 5 and b is equal to minus 55 and c is equal to 140. Substituting value of a, b and c from a given equation on the for quadratic formula that is minus b plus or minus root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. So we can say that x is equal to minus b that is minus minus 55 plus or minus root b square that is minus 55 square minus 4 into a that is 5 into c which is equal to 140 divided by 2 into a that is 2 into 5. So x is equal to 55 plus or minus root minus 55 square is equal to 3025 minus 4 into 5 into 140 which is equal to 2800 divided by 2 into 5 which is equal to 10. So x is equal to 55 plus or minus root 3025 minus 2800 is equal to 225 divided by 10. x is equal to 55 plus or minus root 225 is equal to 15 divided by 10. So x is equal to 55 plus or minus 15 that is we have a two solution here that is 55 plus 15 55 minus 15. So x is equal to 55 plus 15 divided by 10 which is 70 divided by 10 which is equal to 7 or x is equal to 55 minus 15 divided by 10 that is 40 divided by 10 which is equal to 4. So we have a two solution that is x is equal to either 7 or 4. As our discriminant value is positive that's why we have a two solution. So discriminant value b square minus 4ac is the positive value. So now you can verify the value of x is equal to 7 or 4 by putting or substituting these values on the equation 5x square minus 55x plus 140 is equal to 0. So if you are getting the answer is equal to 0 then we can say that your answer is correct. So this is the procedure for solving the quadratic equation by using quadratic formula. I hope you are clear about how to solve the quadratic equation by using the formula. Have a nice day and see you in the next video. Thank you.